Hi Pisces, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and you can also find information below this video um, uh, about the website and donating uh, and email and you can find up here in the corner you can find a white little circle with an eye in it and if you press on that then you will be uh, taken to the website. I'm using the Oracle of Visions and I'm also using the Cats Oracle, Fantasy Cats Oracle and I'm not using all the cards because those are season cards and um, I will be uh, using the four attitude cards from the, uh, from the cats and let's see uh, what comes first okay I'm putting them down the backs are different uh, from each card these are called the third um, the attitude cards and then we've got the vertical cards and these are 15 cats and I'm just shaking them so this is a reading that I've planned myself and I'll just see how it goes and whether you like it okay um, here we go and I'll take one from the middle and I'll take the bottom one okay and you get a tarot card if you don't like the cats then or doesn't resonate with you please have a look at your uh, this one is flipping so I'm putting that one here uh, have a look at your rising or your moon sign okay and I'm putting that one here might not be too straight because they are slippery Okay, let's start with the first card. Okay, and you've got number 52, and that is direction, purpose, objectives. Taking the first step. You can see she's already uh, pointing towards something. Uh, may, perhaps she's seeing in distance what she wants and she's standing on top of the world and she knows that the um, divine and the universe is with her it looks like a universe and she's standing in the sun and to me um, this looks like a life safety life belt I don't know why but these cards let my imagination run riot so let your imagination run riot as well what do you see in it she's wearing a mask perhaps she's hiding away from something so when she gets to the point that she wants to be then she'll take off her mask and bear her face okay again direction purpose objectives taking the first step if one advantage advances confidently in the direction of his or her dreams and endeavours to live life which he has imagined he will meet with success unexpected in common hours so you will that is by Henry David Thoreau that's the saying so if you go ahead manifest visualize and take undertake action you will get there quicker than you realize remember ta time is man-made in unexpected in common hours the purpose and direction goals and plans for the future without these our life will be stagnant boring in other words and have little meaning having something to aim for to achieve to look forward to no matter how small is the difference between day and night existence and living a fuller life reading learning seeing experiencing something new and setting goals is a journey to tomorrow even the longest journey starts with one first step consider the reasons why the options 
the chosen direction and let your journey begin. Wow, awesome. So this is your reading, Pisces. Sorry if I didn't mention it. Okay, so let's go to the next card. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. The first card is an attitude card. Desiring balance. Desiring balance. So I'm going to move the cards away a bit so that I can really, you can really see them and enjoy the artistry from um, Paola, Paola Burberry. And the card you have is traveling. You might be traveling. You are also coming to an end of a cycle. You've got 10. So there is a new beginning. Perhaps you are free now or have taken time out to start this new journey. And this does relate to this card. This card it takes the first step to get to where you want, wish to go. Wow, you might be traveling. This could be physically or mentally. There could also be an offer, a new beginning. This is an other new beginning of love. You might be traveling the journey of love. You might be experiencing a new love or your first love. As the cups represent love, passion, nurturing, sensuality and sexuality. A new beginning. This could be with a Pisces. This could be with a Cancer. This could be with a Scorpio. They're very spiritual people. That is what the cups mean, or water. A spiritual people. And very emotional. And you can see the purple around here. And they're also people that work and help other people. Nurturing is blue. Blue's the colour of service but also the colour of the throat chakra. And you can see yellow, so let your emotions flow. Go with the flow. Then we go to midweek and you've got attitude. Desiring belonging. Oh yes, that does um, go over. Uh, I've got the touch in my head now. That will bond very nicely with the beginning of the week. Then you've got number eight, number eight. You're in the powerhouse. You can see playfulness and you see the, um, the ladybird. And the ladybird means peace. Don't use force. No aggressiveness. That's the sign of no aggressiveness. Okay, awesome. So use your gentle nature, your nurturing nature, and you will find that belonging. You can dream, but come into action with dreams or goals. Come into action with dreams or goals. Okay? Make a visionary board. Uh, put pictures of old magazines or from the internet um, onto a visionary board and put it somewhere where you walk past every day so that you can enhance and begin that journey of wishing and coming quicker to you and make a pro and cons list. Also make clear what you don't want. Now I'm going to take number 10, traveling from the cat card and I'm going to read a little bit about that and that is traveling. Make a plan, embrace the unknown, Chart a new course, travel and change opens your the soul. New landscapes and situations give you an opportunity to define yourself in a fresh new way. Plot a new course before you step foot on your journey. Adventure unfolds, a cat moves like lightning, fast speed or creeps along unnoticed. Move with the speed required. Feel the call of the wild, the wind on your face. 
enjoy what you see along the way. The destination is not the ultimate goal, it is the journey holding the meaning and the key to your soul's evolution. It is possible to travel without leaving our own backyard. Like I said, spiritually or physically embrace the unknown to engage in adventure. Allow the under glimmer of the world and magic to become your ticket to the world of possibility. Cats can be circuitous. Feel free to stray out of comfort zones and explore highways and byways that have long been abandoned by others. You discover treasure where the others have failed to look. Leave the comfort of home. You remember where you have come from because your past will reach around to meet your future. So like everything comes full circle, like she knows the direction, but when she reaches it, the goal, she will take off her mask. So beautiful. And you've got number eight, that is your powerhouse. Perhaps you want more money. Um, this is also the money house. So groom yourself if you go for job interviews. That is perhaps your journey. Then groom yourself, pamper yourself. And if you would like to feel a little bit different or better, then treat yourself as well. We all need to treat ourselves. Treat yourself as gently as you would like a child or a kitten. Don't use force. Just be yourself. Okay. Now we're going on to Friday. And Friday, your attitude card is attitude. This desiring transformation, desiring transformation, that is on Friday. Then we've got the ruling, and that is an awesome card. And I, this is my favorite card because I have a Siamese. Siamese and it's number six so you will be coming into balance I love this card awesome express your will the Siamese are also definitely cats that know what they want they are the boss in the house put plans into action so you would like to travel so groom yourself get ready for your first step Think about where you want to go and try to um, visit all the side roads and not only it's, don't stay on the main course, but visit where you've never been before. Leave your comfort zone. Awesome. And um, you know where you come from, so you can always go back. Take time out at the weekend. Okay, take the time out at the weekend. You've got the Four of Swords. Pamper yourself. Okay, express yourself by all means. But don't cry. Wow, like that. That's the Siamese. So, take a rest. Make the right plans. Um, evaluate the situation from time to time on your journey. And make notation, notes about it. Notations, sorry, that's Dutch. Make notes on how you'll progress, what you feel. Make a diary and see what you can twig whilst you're on your journey. My advice is don't take any shortcuts because you'll have to repent in leisure later. Then we've got desiring intimacy. Perhaps you would like to have more friends. You would like to create a family of friends or start your own new family. And then we have um, running. Is time running out according to you? Is time running out? He's running here, but it's got a clock on it. Perhaps it's your time to slow down as we have the Four of Swords and to start evaluating your, um, your situation, uh, how you can go about it. Uh, is that what you want? Would you like more friends or would you like family? Um, 
Perhaps the bio clock is ticking. So take the action. Get going. After a moment of rest, move now and ask questions later. Sometimes you have to be spontaneous when you meet somebody new. Okay, accept the love that's around you. You are going to look at this running, moving forward, the chariot and upwards. You've got public recognition. You might even meet a cancer and you've got water, water. Ooh, nice one. Okay, you have victory. Um, you might find out that if you are paired up that you're pregnant, that the bio clock is ticked out and you've been trying to get a baby and the bit you find out that you're pregnant. It could be also a new job. If that is what you wish, you've got where you want to go. But you're not finished yet. The journey is not finished. The journey is all over only starting there will be a lot more experiences on this journey now i'm going to use something new you can see charms uh, i've got the key the heart uh the wheel um an owl um a cage so and i've got all the colors of the basic colors of the chakra not all the colors of the angelic uh, uh, chakra um, but the white is the white light is also that re represents the divine that protection so if you get that one then that's what it is that part angel matter from okay And you get more charms. Capricorn only had two, I think. Right, I'm not looking. You'll just have to trust me. And you've got the pink one as well. So open your heart chakra. Wow. And it's lying next to the card of power and grooming. Okay. So grooming. Yes, spoil yourself. Pamper yourself. Allow the outer world to see how beautiful you are, okay, and that you've dissolved your problems and issues, um, that you are shining like a beacon, you're ready for love, you're ready to travel, or the journey of inner spirit, or the journey of self-love, that you love yourself more, there's no um, um, fight, um, N n uh, aggressive fighting because that's what this symbol in Europe the ladybird uh, you are against aggressiveness you're gentle you're nurturing you live from the heart this is the heart chakra it is really green but in the angelic book or the angelic uh, like the angel feather book it is Archangel Raphael and that uh, Raguel, Raphael for the green and Shamuel for pink Shamuel um, I'm getting I don't know what the name is of the stuff um, chenise I, I think that's the, the material chenise it glistens like silk and that is what I'm getting from this as well so try to wear pink chenise that's nice you've got the key in your own hand you can open the door to love if you open your heart and you are in the spotlight wow look at this this could be also the moon you are in the spotlight you've got victory wow you've got the star you are a star just know that you are a star in your own little film okay in your own life you are the star so hold on to that hold on to your security hold on to your beauty don't run before you can walk that is definitely a message coming here you take the first step don't run before you can walk make sure of that make sure that you know what you want like the Siamese wow and we have the masculine sign here on the Siamese so you might be meeting somebody new on Friday 
um, that could be with a person that is really direct and know what they want. You know what you want. And um, getting to hear Sagittarius. That is hearing, not the cards. I've got nothing to do with cards because there's no fire signs here. But I'm getting to know, uh, I'm getting to hear Sagittarius. I don't know why. Okay. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Pisces, and give us the thumbs up. And remember, together we stand strong. And I hope to see you in the life tonight. Love you. Take care. Be blessed.